<laughs> Nothing left. Nothing left. Grab a glass of milk and let's examine the rise to fame and eventual disappearance of these 10 discontinued cookies you miss. Magic Middles. And ideas that will change the cookie world forever. Melted chocolatey middles in the cookies. Let's take a moment to appreciate the baking prowess of those mischievous Keebler elves who have been filling our pantries with an array of delightful snacks for generations. Since its humble beginnings in a Philadelphia bakery way back in 1853, Keebler has become synonymous with a wide variety of cookies and crackers that have brought joy to snack enthusiasts everywhere. While many of their offerings have found their way into our hearts, one particular treat often gets over overlooked, magic middles. These delectable cookies, which hailed from the Keebler kitchen, were a shortbread delight available in two tantalizing options, plain or chocolate chip. What made Magic Middles truly magical was the rich fudge filling nestled within each cookie. It's no secret that adding a touch of chocolate to an already delicious cookie can elevate the experience to new heights, especially for the young at heart. Yummers. Unfortunately, the exact date of Magic Middles' disappearance from store shelves remains a mystery. Unlike the notorious New Coke debacle, there was no uproar to mark its departure. However, it seems that loyal fans of this scrumptious Keebler snack still hold these cookies near and dear to their hearts. A petition on Change.org surfaced, imploring Keebler to resurrect the beloved Magic Middles. Alas, in 2019, Keebler responded to inquiries on Twitter, stating that there are no plans to bring them back. Burry's Fudge Town Cookies Fudge, fudge. Loads of fudge, so much fudge. These delightful sandwich cookies once reigned supreme, satisfying the cravings of chocolate enthusiasts everywhere before eventually dimming their sweet lights. Picture two beautifully crafted flower-shaped chocolate cookies enveloping a rich and decadent fudgy filling. Fudge Town cookies enjoyed their moment in the spotlight back in the swinging 60s and 70s. Commercials from the era proudly boasted that these cookies were made in none other than Fudge Town itself, a fantastical place where fudge flowed freely and chocolate dreams came true. With their overflowing fudgy centers, Fudge Town cookies became a legend among chocolate lovers. Each bite was a blissful journey into a world of cocoa-infused delight. In reality, these delectable treats were likely baked in the heart of New Jersey. Burry's Biscuits, the masterminds behind Fudge Town Cookies, had a colossal manufacturing plant in Elizabeth, New Jersey. For decades, this quarter-mile-long factory filled the air with the irresistible aroma of freshly baked cookies, captivating the entire neighborhood with its sweet magic. In 2006, the Burry's Biscuit factory closed its doors, leaving behind memories of its delectable creation. Ron, it looks like they're closed. And as if that were enough, in 2011, a devastating fire consumed the once vibrant factory, erasing any hopes of a Fudge Town cookie revival. Oreo Big Stuff Cookies. Mr. Big Stuff. Introducing Oreo Big Stuff. Who do you think? This memorable query echoed through the airwaves during a whimsical Oreo commercial back in the 1980s. The culprit behind this deliciously audacious challenge was none other than the Oreo Big Stuff. Picture a classic Oreo cookie, but magnified to colossal proportions. At a whopping three inches in diameter, the Oreo Big Stuff was a true titan of the cookie world, individually wrapped and ready to conquer your taste buds. After all, what could possibly be better than a bigger Oreo? Regrettably, the Oreo Big Stuff's reign was short-lived, as it bid farewell after a mere seven years on the market. The exact reasons behind its discontinuation remain somewhat elusive. Some speculate that its colossal size may have been too much for the appetites of young Oreo enthusiasts. It's too big! Others suggest that the experience of devouring an Oreo Big Stuff required a complete reimagining of the traditional Oreo eating rituals. Its size made it challenging to dunk in a glass of milk or execute the classic twist and lick technique. However, there are still those who cling to the nostalgia of these oversized treats, eagerly hoping for their triumphant return. Even Kim Kardashian herself, known for her ability to make things happen, expressed her desire for the Oreo Big Stuff's revival with a heartfelt plea on Twitter. Before we get to more cookies missing in action, if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much. Forget-Me-Nots Girl Scout Cookies Cookies for sale!
Uh, let's take a moment to pay our respects to a fallen hero in the realm of Girl Scout cookies, the Forget-Me-Nots. Now, you'd think a cookie with such a poignant name would leave an indelible mark on our taste buds, but alas, it was not meant to be. Produced by the esteemed Little Brownie Bakers, these cookies graced palettes from 1979 to 1981, during which they were marketed as a charmingly old-fashioned oatmeal raisin cookie with a twist. That twist being granola. The Girl Scouts sought to elevate the humble oatmeal raisin cookie by incorporating granola, believing it would bring a delightful texture and added flair to the familiar flavors. Could this seemingly minor addition truly transform these cookies into unforgettable delights? As it turns out, not quite. Ugh. Oh, that's bear. It seems the cookie lovers of the 70s were less than thrilled by the crunch and nuance of this slightly revamped oatmeal raisin treat. The forget-me-not sadly faded into cookie history as the new decade dawned. However, their legacy does endure, albeit in an unexpected way. Regrettably, the forget-me-nots have become known as one of the less celebrated Girl Scout cookie flavors, not quite achieving the lasting impression the Girl Scouts had envisioned when they named and developed this seemingly unremarkable cookie. Forget-me-not indeed, but for all the wrong reasons. Red Velvet Oreos Thank you. Red Velvet is an amazing choice. There was a time not too long ago when Red Velvet mania was at its peak, dominating the early to mid-2010s. Red Velvet cupcakes, body sprays, and scented candles seemed to be around every corner, and it was only a matter of time before Oreo joined the crimson craze. So in 2015, they introduced a limited edition delight, Red Velvet Oreos. It wasn't a shocker considering the popularity of this vibrant flavor. According to those in the know, these cookies truly captured the essence of a red velvet cake. The uniqueness of the red velvet Oreos extended beyond their appearance. This. This is beautiful. Not only did they sport a cream cheese filling, a nod to the classic pairing, but the cookie itself underwent a transformation. Oreo's signature chocolate flavor was replaced with an authentic red velvet taste, making each bite a tribute to the beloved crimson-hued treat. For those who proudly proclaimed their love for red velvet, these cookies were a match made in dessert heaven. However, it's with a heavy heart that we bid adieu to the red velvet Oreos as they were discontinued in 2020. Nabisco, the masterminds behind these crimson delights stated that the decision was made to make room for new and exciting cookie innovations. Could this be a sign that the red velvet craze has finally run its course? Almost home. Food chocolate chips. A cup and a half premium chocolate chip. When it comes to cookies, there's an undeniable allure to those freshly baked morsels straight out of the oven. The unmatched combination of fresh ingredients and homemade love results in a cookie experience that store-bought varieties oh, simply can't no. replicate. One of the pioneers in bringing the soft and chewy goodness of homemade cookies to the mass market was Nabisco with their almost home cookies. Before the 1980s, store-bought cookies were typically known for their hard and crunchy texture. But Nabisco had a vision to change the cookie landscape. Enter Almost Home Cookies, a line of soft and delectable treats that aim to bridge the gap between the convenience of store-bought and the comforting appeal of homemade. They gave me homemade cookies. Of course they did. That's what grandmothers do. Available in a range of flavors, including the timeless chocolate chip, classic peanut butter, and old-fashioned sugar, these cookies sought to capture the essence of the homemade cookie experience. The packaging of Almost Home Cookies played its part in invoking a sense of nostalgia and hominess. The design featured intricate embroidery or cross-stitch patterns reminiscent of the cozy crafts that might occupy a grandmother's leisure time. While the question of whether these cookies truly matched up to grandma's secret recipe remains open for debate, the definitive answer has been lost to the passage of time. Juliet's Girl Scout Cookies Picture this, it's the mid-80s and the cookie-loving world is introduced to a delectable delight called Juliet's Girl Scout Cookies. Named in honor of the Girl Scouts' visionary founder, Juliet Gordon Lowe, whose nickname was Daisy, these cookies had not one, but two lives before bidding us adieu. The first incarnation of Juliet's emerged in 1984, gracing taste buds for a brief but memorable year. In each package, eager snackers discovered two sleeves of daisy-shaped shortbread cookies. One sleeve tantalized with a zesty lemon icing on the bottom, while the other sleeve delighted with a luscious pecan praline coating. Alas, like a shooting star streaking across the sky, the first Juliet's Cookies venture faded into obscurity. Goodbye, cruel world! 
but hold your milk dunking spoons because the Juliets made a triumphant return in 1993. The 90s brought us an entirely reimagined version of this beloved treat. Say goodbye to the lightly coated shortbread and prepare your taste buds for a caramel pecan crunch filling coated in velvety fudge chocolate. This scrumptious reinvention graced our snack stashes for a few more years, eventually bidding us farewell in 1996. Moon Pie Crunch Moon Pie, what a time to be alive. The Moon Pie has earned its place as a timeless classic, delighting taste buds for over a century. With its irresistible combination of fluffy marshmallow nested between two tender graham cracker-like cookies all covered in a luscious coat of chocolate, it's no wonder these treats have stood the test of time. However, amidst the beloved assortment of Moon Pies, there was one variety that didn't quite manage to secure a permanent spot on the shelves, the Moon Pie Crunch. In terms of appearance, the Moon Pie Crunch resembled a petite thin mint cookie. The graham crackers were substituted with delectable chocolate cookies, and the fluffy marshmallow filling was replaced with either mint or peanut butter. Just like the original Moon Pie, both variations of the crunch were covered in a generous coating of chocolate, adding a familiar touch of indulgence. While innovation is essential for any company, even one with a century-long history like Moon Pie, it seems that the Moon Pie crunch missed the mark with consumers, leading to its discontinuation. It's out of production long since discontinued. Though it may be disappointing for fans of this unique twist on the classic treat, the enduring popularity of the original Moon Pie ensures that its legacy will continue to captivate our taste buds for generations to come. Uh-oh, Oreos. Uh-oh. When it comes to the world of Oreo cookies, Nabisco certainly knows how to keep us on our toes with their creative flavor experiments. However, even with a track record of success, there's bound to be a stumble along the way. Enter Uh-Oh Oreos, the cookie that made its way into the spotlight by being an amusing departure from the Oreo norm. Introduced in 2003, Uh-Oh Oreos offered a playful twist on the classic Oreo cookie. In this case, the roles were reversed, with vanilla cookies hugging a luscious chocolate filling. The brand cleverly marketed this creation as a mistake, adding an extra layer of humor to its appeal. After all, who doesn't enjoy a sweet treat with a touch of self-awareness? Perhaps the intention behind Uh-Oh Oreos was to attract those who had a preference for cookies other than Oreos, enticing them with a novel take on the beloved classic. However, Oreo preferences tend to be quite polarizing. Either you're a die-hard fan or not. Oh, this Oreo is rank! For those who didn't find themselves particularly drawn to Oreos in the first place, the idea of a modified version might not have been enticing enough to win them over. PB Max B don't mean pineapple beanie. It's Barracuda. The PB Max holds a nostalgic place in the realm okay. of forgotten treats, standing as a unique fusion of candy bar and cookie. Produced by Mars, renowned for its wide range of confectionery delights, the PB Max emerged as a rectangular snack that blurred the lines between cookie and candy. This delectable creation consisted of a layer of peanut butter mixed with oats, nestled upon a cookie base, and generously enrobed in smooth milk chocolate. The result was a tantalizing combination of flavors and textures that earned the PB Max its own distinct identity. Introduced in 1989, Mars positioned the PB Max as more than just another candy bar. It aimed to compete with the immensely popular Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Finally, a worthy opponent. Packed with ample amounts of peanut butter, the PB Max garnered a devoted following during its existence. Unfortunately, time has relegated this treat to faint memories, as it is no longer available on store shelves. Bite into more great videos. Just tap or click. First time here? Then hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.